Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for watching my video today. So throughout this video I'm just going to recommend some tips and also a couple of different products just to buy just to help with the bedtime routine. Okay, so I'd just like to add, I'm not a professional, I'm just going to share with you today some tips that have really worked well for us at Guessing Rocco into a really good nap time routine, um, which means he sleeps really well during the night as well. So first up is my white noise machine. So if you have watched my products that I recommend for a toddler, then you will see my Hush white noise machine that I use and I take everywhere with us. Um, it's just from Amazon, I'll link it down below, but it's just perfect for blocking out any background noise. It's good to avoid early waking as well, um, as when our alarms are going off in the morning, obviously he will be able to hear them. So with the white noise machine, it will just block out any background noise, so avoid um, him waking up from our alarms. So he just gets a slightly longer sleep than us, so we can get up and ready for the day. Okay, so tip number two is a bath, book and bed. So we do this every single night and we always have done since Rocco was a newborn. Um, so it's really important for them to just have structure, always go upstairs at the same time every evening. I think it's quite important to not make it really rushed. So if you're really tight for time and thinking, oh, it's this time, let's quickly get them in bed, get them in bath, you know, it's it then just makes things really, really rushed. So what we do um, personally is we just go upstairs at six o'clock. Uh, Rocco goes to bed at seven. So we go upstairs at six o'clock. Um, we just chill a little bit. Um, I might just put some washing away. Rocco's just winding down and reading some books and playing with his toys. But what we do is we have the lights down low and then I'll be running the bath, getting the bath ready. Um, and then he'll get into the bath and then what we do after is when he was a baby we would do baby massage obviously now he doesn't sit still for that um so yeah and then we read some books and have a little chat to him obviously he's he's getting that bit older now so he can talk to us a little bit more we can ask him how his day was and just talk to him about nursery and stuff like that so it's really sweet that he's sort of communicating a little bit more now so i think that's really important as well um as important as it is to be chatting around the dinner table and asking how their day is i think it's really good um to have that time in the evening um once you've had a bath and you know if they've got anything on their mind they want to chat about is sort of a really good time for them to just um let let you know anything as they get older obviously they will um hopefully chat to you a little bit more um and then he goes to bed we, we sort of put him in bed for about quarter to seven reading his book and then he goes off to sleep for um around seven ish sometimes he does lay there for a little bit but as long as he's settled he sometimes might just chat to himself um just stare up at the ceiling he literally might just lay there in silence as well for a sometimes half an hour which is fine he's settled he's drifting off their brains are working so much they've got so much to think about and he might just be processing um his thoughts from the day so that's fine as long as he's settled um so if you do find that your baby is a little bit unsettled and obviously does have a lot on their mind um a good thing is a projector light just to project onto the ceiling um just because it gives them something to look at um it's just quite nice and relaxing as well isn't it um you can put the proje projector in the bathroom as well if you'd like to do that um yeah just anything as relaxing as possible for their bath time routine we add in lavender essential oils into his bath as well um, and we just find that helps obviously to relax him as well the lavender scent is just really calming and um, so we love doing that so tip number three is don't linger so once you've done your bedtime routine and you've put them into bed then um, you know give them a kiss good night and have them on the baby mo baby monitor and go downstairs or go into another room don't be sort of lingering around putting some washing away or anything like that definitely don't be in their bedroom if you're in for example the room next door literally don't be making any noise at all because i feel like they just know like he will just know if i'm in our room do you know folding some washing he will just know and he will call for me uh, but if i'm downstairs he doesn't he he just is sort of left to it 
um, and he will just be laying down and settle himself. Okay, so tip number four, I would say is my most important tip. Um, so what it is, is I think that a baby's day reflects their night. So it's really crucial to know for their age, the correct nap times that they should be having and their wake periods. Obviously when they are small babies, they sleep for quite a lot of the day. Um, but you can still roughly know how many hours they should be awake for um, before they're going to start getting overtired and then they're going to need a sleep. So it's really important to know that. And I think you can still keep a rough track of that when they are, you know, a couple of years old. Um, obviously, eventually they do start dropping their naps. And from babies to toddlers, they eventually do drop nap by nap. So Rocco is one and a half now and he is only on one nap a day and he sleeps from one o'clock till three o'clock. He does that every single day. I completely understand that sometimes there are days where the kids just do not nap and that's absolutely fine. Things happen, that is fine. Rocco does that. There have been days where he does not sleep. So I really believe that if they have the right structure and nap time in the daytime, they will have a better night's sleep. So what happens if when they're overtired and if they've been awake for too many hours for their age, it's really important to not get to that fight or flight mode. There's something um, that releases in their brain that tells them to go into like fight or flight mode and not switch off and not go to sleep once they get to that really overtired stage. So obviously you don't want to get there because then you're cons you're fighting against them to try and get them to sleep and their body is telling them not to go to sleep. I always find as well, when Rocco has had the odd day where he does miss his naps throughout the day, um, you sort of think to yourself, because he hasn't slept all day, he's gonna be really, really tired. So when we put him down for his bedtime, he then will go straight to sleep and fall asleep straight away because he's so exhausted. But then what we find is he will then wake up a couple of hours later, um, a bit sort of disorientated. And normally he is quite half asleep and he's not really fully awake, but it really sort of throws him. He, and then, you know, it's a bit of a struggle to then get him settled again and get him back to sleep. But I always, that always happens when he misses his daytime nap. So it's really important for him to be resting in the day. And then, like I say, their daytime reflects their nighttime and he will then have such a better night's sleep. Okay, so tip number five is if your um, toddler has got out of a, a routine or isn't into a routine yet, then I would just say it's really, really important to do so. They thrive from structure. If you're planning on getting them into a good routine, then stay home for a couple of days. If you think it can be really confusing for them because sometimes they're sleeping in their cot, um, could be the carrier, the car seat, the pram, someone's lap. Um, so if you're planning on getting them into a good sleep routine, then I would say stay home for a few days. So go with what works for you with where they like to sleep the most. Um, I would say try to avoid them sleeping in the car because obviously in a way that's the easy option because for a lot of children, it does send them off to sleep um, really quickly and really easily. So they're sort of not learning to drift themselves off to sleep. The car's sort of doing that for them. Um, Obviously when you're out and about, there's so much going on and there's so many different noises. So if they're in their pram, um, I especially find at this age as well, Rocco won't really lay down in his pram. He's in a stroller now as he's one and a half, but when I recline it to try and get him to go to sleep, he won't always lay down. So again, that's a bit of a struggle to try and get him to even lay down in the pram because he wants to see what's going on. And most importantly, he wants to get out and run around as well. So I would obviously recommend having them at home and getting them to sleep in their cot as much as possible. Um, but if you just stay home for a couple of days and you can really perfect it and they will know that their cot is a safe, relaxing place to sleep and they need to sort of switch off. I just wanted to add when Rocco's napping in his cot in the daytime, we still do a book and have a little chat and um, then he goes off to sleep at one o'clock. 
So tip number six is to make sure that they've had a really filling dinner. Obviously this avoids early waking with them being hungry in the morning. So if they haven't eaten very well in the evening, then what you can always do is just give them maybe some oats or some yogurt or something like that just before bed, just to make sure that their tummies are really full and they should then have a better night's sleep. Okay, so tip number seven is to get them a duvet and pillow. From the age of, of about 12 months, they can then have a toddler duvet and pillow set. Um, so I found that Rocco slept with this a lot better. He could snuggle in and you can just make the bed a little bit cosier. So I would re I would recommend getting one of those if you haven't already. Um, it just helps to get them a bit sort of cosy and they can snuggle in. It's quite cute. Also, we, we know how our children love to copy. So um, they can see that we have a duvet and he loves it now that he's got his own little duvet that he can snuggle into. So tip number eight is a toddler sleep trainer clock. Um, a couple of brands do these, there's a few on the market now, um, but what they do is they just help to communicate sleep time and wake time. So what they usually do is just glow different colours, um, so blue for when they should be asleep and orange with the sunshine when they should be awake. So in the middle of the night or early morning, if they wake up and still see that the clock is shining blue with the moon, they know that they need to stay in bed and settle down and not to get out of bed just yet. And then once the um, sun comes up and the clock shines orange, they are allowed to get out of bed. Obviously this sort of thing works really well when you take the side of their cot off or if they are in their own sort of single bed already or a toddler bed. Um, this avoids them obviously getting up and getting out of their room um, too early or in the middle of the night. Okay, so finally, tip number nine is another really, really important one as well. So make sure that bed is a happy place. So do not use it as a punishment. Um, don't put them in their bed for a punishment um, because what they will then do is they will associate their bed as a negative place. So what you want to do is make it a really happy place that they love getting into, just so it can be a really nice, happy, positive place for them to snuggle down and sleep every day. Okay, so that is all for my toddler sleep tips today. So I hope you enjoy my video and I hope you find some of these tips helpful. I'd love to hear from you. So if you've got any questions, then please pop them down in the comment section below and I will answer them for you. Sending you lots of positive vibes and hopefully your toddler will be napping and sleeping through the night in no time. Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you in my next one.